Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 122 and we are going to talk about balance the load. When we talk about balancing the load, that is basically meaning that we are there to create a balance between the relationships, the connections and the energies and the harmony. Because balance is the essence of creating leadership perspective. And unless and until we are not creating the balance, it would be difficult for us to manage the situation. When we talk about balance, and particularly when we talk about emotional intelligence, remember that empathy as a component of emotional intelligence is basically there to build the relationships. And we have to care about other people. We have to see what are their needs and wants. We have to see what do they feel. And for that, obviously, we have to put ourselves in their shoe so that we could understand their viewpoint, their perspective. But remember that sometimes if we are coming up with too much empathy, it might be hurting the people. It might be hurting yourself as well because that is basically there to damage the relationships. Why? Because sometimes, as we discussed, that there is a sin in sincerity. Sometimes our too much empathy is creating a lot of dependence and that dependence is going to backfire. Remember another thing when we talk about emotional intelligence that listening is a good thing but sometimes over listening creates a lot of burden and stress on the person who is listening because the person who is sharing with you wo is kabil nahi hoga ke wo khud se bhi koi apne ikdam kar sake khud bhi apne bare mein kuch soch sake to he would or she would be always only depending upon you so remember that listening is good but over listening is sometimes creating stress and burden same way, when we talk about emotional intelligence, remember it's not going to be a magic. We have to focus upon what's required. And for that matter, ek baat yaad rakhiega, ke don't ever go for hard work, always try to go for smart work. Because smart work is better able to generate the results. And as we know, the smart would mean that we have to be measurable, specific, attainable, realistic, and time-framed. So that is basically the smart orientation. Another important thing is that we have to plan within our authority that we are going to delegate and rule. By delegating, you are actually empowering the other people. And through that empowerment, the people would be better able to demonstrate how much they can contribute. Same way, when we are, when we are talking about emotional intelligence, remember one thing, that empathy should not result in stress and anxiety. Because if you are showing your empathy with a lot of concern and that concern is even creating a burden for the other person. So that should be something which, is, which needs to be checked. Another important thing is that empathy does not mean your self-exploitation, that you are there to support and help other people. You are not there to be exploited. Or if you have exploitation, ho rahi hai, so that means that you can't empathy ko control wo nahi kar sak rahe ho. Another important thing is that we have to learn to differentiate between empathy, sympathy and apathy. Because remember that when we talk about sympathy in particular, this is a negative connotation ka word. And sympathy is when there is something bad going on. But empathy is a positive connotation expression. Jisme ke you show your care, concern in the normal walk of life. So, we logon se pehle empathy kar leni chahiye bajaye iske ki hum sirf sympathy unke saath wo uska relationship wo establish kare another important thing is that for that whole concern of empathy and social intelligence and emotional intelligence we have to remember the four way wins the four ways which we talked about the north south east rest of our life which are basically your home and family your working life and profession your community and yourself so remember, we have to create a four-way win. We have to create an environment with the stakeholders where there is a balance. Because without that balance, it would be difficult for us to maintain a proper connection and relationships. Dear students, if we conclude all of our then remember that empathy is a very important thing in social and emotional intelligence. But empathy should also control empathy. Because exaggeration of anything is going to create a bad result. So we have to take care of the people and we also have to make them realize that at one day 
they have to stand on their own feet.